Hello, and welcome to our ArcCLS Introduction to Seismic Spectral Bluing. In this video, we will briefly outline the benefits of using our software. Seismic Spectral Bluing is a software that shapes the average seismic spectrum to the observed Earth's reflection coefficient spectrum found in the well data. During the processing of seismic data, the amplitudes are often whitened, so deriving a bluing operator from well logs and convolve it with the seismic data delivers a seismic cube with enhanced high frequency content, and hence blued. To access seismic spectral bluing, go to the Edit 3D Attribute icon in the Open Detect toolbar. When the Attribute Set 3D window opens, you then filter by ArcCLS Attributes. Then, select Spectral Bluing and click on Analyze and Create. This will launch the SSB main window. From this window, a full and comprehensive SSB study can be driven. To begin, the input data must be selected. To do this, we click on Input Data. The first tab is the Select Input Seismic, in which the user can select a seismic cube from the database or load a SegWi file. From the seismic data, 40 random traces are selected to generate the average seismic spectrum and time-gated by absolute values of two-way time over the interval of interest. The second tab is the Input Well Logs tab, from where the user can load logs from the database or select ASCII files. After loading, well logs can be selected and time-gated to match the seismic interval. In the Design Operator Control window, there are parameters that help improve spectral bluing operator creation. You can change the smoothing operator length, which smooths the average spectrum curve from the seismic traces. The Fit Well Log Curves allows you to improve the fitting against your average well log spectrum. You can adjust the length of the operator. And finally, the Design Operator Low and High Cut allows you to manipulate the amplitude spectrum. As you can see, any change made to these parameters can instantly be visualised in the chart window. The Seismic View window shows in real time the convolution between the SSB operator and the Seismic, providing full quality control within the application. The original Seismic overlays the convolved output for an easy comparison. As you can see, any changes made to the bluing operator parameters automatically updates the convolved output. Once the design of the SB operator is done, this must be saved before exiting the application. It's also possible to save into a file all the parameters and settings used in the current session. Something very helpful and time-saving in case you want to come back and make changes. After saving the operator and closing the application, the selected seismic data and the just created SB operator will appear in the Attribute Set 3D window. Saving the attribute allows it to be displayed with an open detect scene or used to create an output blued cube. To display it, go to a seismic line in your open detect data tree, right click on it and select add attribute. In the select window, click on the spectral bluing attribute and the attribute will be computed on the fly and shown in the seismic scene. As you can see, the blued data is sharper than the original and the continuity of the reflectors has been improved, meaning that clear interpretations can be achieved. Thank you for watching. For more information on the many other features of seismic spectral bluing, or information on any of our other products, please email us or check out our website.